everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Amy and welcome to my YouTube family. I would love it if you would stick around, go down below, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, it honestly means the world to me. Also, just want to say thank you so, so much for 500 subscribers. Honestly, I just can't believe it really. You can tell I'm a bit upbeat today, I'm in a good mood. The time has come and we're filming the puppy haul. So you guys will see this in a week. So when this video goes up, we will be on our way to collect our puppy, but you guys will see that the week after. But yeah, so I'm just gonna show you guys everything you'll need for a new puppy. If you're getting one, if you're thinking about getting one, or if you just find it interesting really. I've watched so, so many of these and I didn't know whether to do one because it's not really what I do on my channel, but I'm just so excited. Like it's kind of like a bit cringe, but it's like a new chapter in my life. It's a big responsibility and yeah, I just wanna share it with you guys and in the future I can look back on it and just remember how I felt about getting a little puppy. So let's just get into the video. I've ummed and ahed for quite a while about telling you guys the puppy's name or not. Some of you will know it if you're like close friends or whatever, but I didn't know if to tell you guys now or whether to, when like we bring him home, just like in the vlog be like, hey guys and meet so and so. We've obviously got a few personalized things. That's why I was thinking, oh, I'll just tell you guys now. However, I don't think I want to tell you guys yet. I want to keep that suspension like for a little bit longer. So you guys are gonna have to wait another week unless you go and stalk my Instagram and then you probably will find his name anyway. Um, but yeah, go get your cup of tea because I think this video is gonna be a long one. I've spent a lot of money and I have gone over the top. I'm not gonna lie to you. Also, these extensions are hanging on by a thread. They're gonna be coming out soon. Um, I'm just not really feeling the vibe, the hair vibe today, I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting into the video now. I need to shut up. Let's go. First of all, I thought I would just show you this bed. It is quite a small one. It's gonna be more of like his puppy bed. It's like a beigey brown color. And then inside it is so fluffy and soft. I think this one was 7 99 from Home Bargains, which obviously is so, so cheap. We couldn't find like one for ages. And then we just picked this one up, super cheap. Um, really, really comfy. But this is the one we're thinking will be like more his puppy bed. And then after we went to Home Bargains, we went to B&M, they had so many beds. Their bed range is so much better than Home Bargains. So if you're getting a dog, check out B&M before you check out Home Bargains. But this one is a bit bigger, so I think it will last him a bit longer. It is absolutely unreal. So it's gray, dark gray on the front with this little, the Hun logo on. Um, I think this one was 20 pounds. And it is memory foam. I don't know if he's gonna like it. It feels quite like hard touch, but yeah, I just loved it. I love the look of it. I think it it looks, it just doesn't make your front room look ugly, if you know what I mean. So we went for that one as well. And when he gets bigger, we might need to get him another bed or if he doesn't like those styles of beds. So we are being prepared to potentially have to buy more beds. We also are crate training. So we have a crate downstairs. Obviously, I'm not going to bring it up for the video, but we have a 36 inch crate. I think it's like a medium size crate. It is quite big for the moment, but we didn't want to have to buy two crates. So I've got a crate divider and we will make the crate smaller. And then as he gets bigger, we will make it bigger. I've heard if they're in a crate too big, they will toilet in it. So they're like wee and poo in it. Obviously, we want to avoid that. So making the crate smaller and then make it bigger as he gets bigger, it should avoid toilet in the crate. So that's the plan. But another thing I've heard not to leave beds in the crate of them when they're left alone because they can obviously chew them um, and then swallow the stuffing, which is not good for them. So um, our breeder recommended some vet beds. I picked up two. So they both literally look the same. There's this smaller gray one with paw prints on. This doesn't actually fit the whole crate. And this is the one I got first. I, this was from Amazon, I'm pretty sure. But this one didn't fit the whole crate. And then I thought if he weed on it, it'd need to be washed and he'd need a spare one to go in. So then I picked up another one. This is an RSPCA one from eBay, I think. The paw prints are bigger, but this is the size of his crate. So that might give you an idea of how big his crate is. Um, that's the exact size of his crate. So he's now got two vet beds. They're so soft. Um, our old dog, Sammy, she used to use them. And they're just really recommended because they're rubber on the back. If they wee, the wee just like sinks right to the bottom and it isn't like wet for them to like sleep in. So yeah, we picked up two of those. I picked up some towels. So these are like microfiber ones, also Amazon, and they just feel like unreal. Apparently they're meant to dry dogs really quickly. They came in a pack of two as well. Yeah, I think we're gonna wash him pretty quickly. Um, obviously puffy smell, they wee everywhere, poo everywhere. 
Um, so we want to wash him pretty quickly once we get him. So we picked up some microfiber towels. They also sell these in the range, um, but we just ordered them online. I've got this basket of all his toys in. At the moment, it's not just got his toys in, it's literally got everything in. But this basket was from B&Q. It came in a pack of three. And that one was like the perfect size for dog stuff. So that is what it's for. I might put it on the side next to me and then I can just run through everything that is inside the basket. First of all, we've got a little blanket. Um, I think there's like two more things that haven't arrived and then we're literally done. I've ordered another blanket and like a name tag for his collar. Neither of them have arrived yet, but everything else we've got, we're so prepared. So this is just a little blanket. Um, apparently they just love blankets like being cozy so i picked up this this was also from amazon yeah, i don't know if this is like too gross to show on youtube but he's got some chicken feet our old dog used to love them and they're just meant to be a really healthy like treat for them or like it's meant to be good for them so they literally are chicken feet that is so gross but yeah they love them these are 350 and it was from like uh I don't know how to explain it. It was like a pet shop at a garden centre. Um, so we picked up those. And then sticking with treats, I got two packs of wags. Um, these are puppy and junior, chicken and yogurt. And then we've got training, beef, chicken and lamb. Um, so these will be good for like training him some tricks. Like obviously we want him to sit, heal, lay, that kind of thing. I picked them up off eBay. I think they were like £2.50 each but you can get them in the range for a pound. So definitely just go out and get them. I was just being lazy. And then I got some coat cheese. My friend used these with her dog and yeah, they're just meant to be really good. They're kind on weight, perfect for puppy training and they're in the flavored chicken. So he's got like a range of things. I don't want to be giving him like too many treats. It's obviously not good for their stomachs. They're only like a baby, but occasionally I might use his kibble as treats to begin with, but obviously I want to spoil him. He's like my baby. I. Don't know if this is cringe, but I've just never felt love like it. Like, I honestly love that dog so much already. And he's not even home yet. One week today, and I think I'm just going to go nuts this week. I'm just so excited. These are the most recent ones I picked up from the range. This is a ring, but it opens up and you can, like, hide treats in it. So I guess it will keep them, like, stimulated. Or I'll just put his food in it, like his kibble in it. And it's quite tough. Like, their puppy range in the range is, like, a lot tougher than if you go for normal dog toys. So I got that. And then this, I know it's gonna drive me bonkers after a while. It's a squeaky toy. But um, one of my friends said like, don't not get them squeaky toys because it's gonna annoy you because they love them. So he's got a little squeaky bone. And these are more like my favorite toys, but Leighton prefers like the play toys, but like comfort toys. So this is a little avocado. I do believe this was Home Bargains and it does squeak. It's not as loud as that other one. And it's got a rope on. Apparently they love ropes. So he's got a little soft toy. Another soft toy, I, this was B&M, $2.99. It makes, I don't know if that's not really a squeak, but it's a funny noise. And it's got like, I don't know if you can hear that. It's like crinkly. Um, but yeah, like another more comforting toy for him. This was Pets at Home. It squeaks again. I think it's impossible to find toys that don't squeak. So this is just an elephant. I just thought it was cute. Um, and if he's like being taken away from his brothers and sisters, oh, it just makes me upset. Like obviously it's normal, but still, I just feel really sad for him. I want him to be like comforted. So he's got an elephant. This one was the range, 3 99 It's like a rabbit. I don't think it makes any noise, but it's got a rope in the middle and a rope at the end. So it's a bit more of a, like a tug toy. I picked up this brush. This was from Amazon. I think it was about £13. I've just read that it's really important to brush them. Obviously they're quite long haired and fluffy. And at the moment, I'm not actually sure if groomers are open. They probably are, but I quite like them quite long and shaggy anyway. So picked up a brush to make sure we stay on top of his coat and like managing it. A Kong. There was loads of like puppy Kongs, but I just didn't get a puppy one. I don't know if I should have. Maybe it would have been softer. I'm not sure really. This is the medium size, seven to 16 kilograms. I mean, this is probably gonna be more of when he's a full size dog. As a puppy, I honestly don't think he weighs much at all. A couple of kilograms, if that, to be honest. We had one of these for my old dog and we just used to put her normal food in it, put some peanut butter over the top and she'd lick it off and then like knock it around and get her food out. So this will just be another thing to keep him occupied if we pop out, just, to like get his brain working really. Our breeder actually recommended us to get these, a string of sausages. They sell these in a lot of places, the range, pets at home, I think just so many places do them. It's like a rope tug toy, but obviously with sausages on. I'm not sure why, she just said that they love 
ropes of things 150 poo bags i picked these up from b&m 129 but now i've seen like you can get different colored ones with paw prints on i'm just thinking like that's just a bit boring isn't it so i might have to buy some more of those this is his first collar and lead oh it's so cute pets at home five pounds i just thought like there wasn't much point in going for something like expensive like he's gonna grow out of it so quickly we want to get him a harness as well but he's not gonna be able to go for a walk for about a month so there's not really any point getting him one yet i want him in red i don't know why but i just i really want him in red and so does leighton to be honest so this is an extra small slash small collar and lead set i don't know if it will fit him i'm hoping it will um otherwise we're gonna have to pop back out and get him something else eye and ear wipes just meant to be good to keep their ears clean otherwise they can get smelly and they are prone to ear infections i'm pretty sure I picked up these for £2.89 this was from like another garden centre pet shop um and the stuff in there seems to be a lot cheaper so if you're looking at getting a dog definitely avoid like not avoid but pets at home and stuff can be very expensive and overpriced check out the smaller shops they and they like appreciate your business as well got him a puppy teething bone this was from the range it stinks of beef obviously it says beef there and yeah i just didn't know if it would be good for his teething if he's like a chewy puppy obviously all puppies are different and i don't think we're gonna know until we bring him home the last few toys are such boy toys these are like what layton's picked up so these are both the range. He's got like a dumbbell with a bell inside and this toy, which is like a tuggy toy. Um, definitely boy kind of toys to pick up, really, aren't they? Also Leighton toys, a frisbee kind of thing for the garden. To be fair, I'm sure he'll love that. And this is a sports pet ball. It's like really light. It's not like heavy. Um, it seems like hollow and it's rubber as well so we've got those two and got some good old tennis balls these were from the range so affordable the range have such a good selection of stuff another like ropey kind of toy we just got such a variety of toys we just don't know what he's gonna like honestly i think there's about 15 20 toys there just a very spoiled puppy already guys i don't know if to show you this basically it's a blanket um i got it from etsy it's a personalized blanket his name is this side oh, i'm so tempted to just show you guys so his name is there um and it's got a paw print and it's such nice quality i think this was a bit more on the pricey side about 25 pounds um i nearly showed you his name and inside it's like fleecy so he obviously can use it either side it just came really nicely packaged really quick it's like sewn in as well it's not just like stuck on and yeah i just love it we got some puppy pads i know there's a lot of mixed opinions on using puppy pads we're not actually gonna train with puppy pads it's just gonna go on the edge of his crate at night in case he does have an accident but we're not gonna be puppy pad training in the house he's gonna be straight outside obviously i'm expecting a few accidents but apparently using puppy pads can just like prolong them going outside so he's just gonna be going straight outside to the toilet shampoo my friend actually recommended this lavender one from pets corner for puppies but they it was out of stock and i think we want to get him used to water and bathing him pretty quickly i'm in so many cockapoo groups on facebook and oh it's making me so excited but a lot of people recommended this this was from amazon it's groom 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 professional in baby fresh it smells like baby powder it is so nice smelling it's quite a big bottle i think it was like 10 pounds and also i don't know if this is like i'm such an over-the-top dog mum already but i'm booking him for some like swimming sessions i work with this lady and she takes her dog for some swimming sessions he has got like mild hip dysplasia but she said you could take the dog for fun so i think it, i'm thinking of booking him, him in for about three sessions um leighton laughed at me and was like dogs don't need swimming lessons like they know how to swim yeah i know they do and it's not swimming lessons it's just some sessions to make him love water my friend's dog adores water um and he was from the same breeder as our dog they're like half brothers it's so cute they got like the same dad but he's obsessed with water because they used to have like a little pool in the garden and he just used to love it so i just want to get our dog used to water from a young age and i think it's like 25 pound a session i think there's a little bit of a wait because of coronavirus but i'm happy to wait and you can actually go in with them they you have theirs like wetsuits and you can go in the pool with them and i just think it'll be lovely like to do something different with him as well swimming's meant to like knack of them out as well then we've got like a little mat for his food to go on in the kitchen this was from b&m two pound fifty i don't know if this will actually make his bowls 
slide more we've gone for like ceramic bowls so i'm not actually sure if that is going to work too well bowls these are from the range we went back to the range to get some matching ones from the other bowls but they ran out so we went for a second best the range bowls are so affordable these are 3.99 each it's like a mirrored kind of effect and white and it's got a paw print inside these are medium 16 centimeter bowls so we've got two of those and then these are the ones that i went back to get another one of each but they didn't have any this is a small bowl and it's 12 centimetres. I think this might be okay for him for like a month, if that, to be honest. I think it's going to be a bit small. I found it really hard to like judge what kind of size they needed, like bowl wise. This is a really small bowl and then we've got a medium one and this was 2 99 this is the kind of style that I absolutely love, but they were all like sold out. So yeah, we've got two of these bowls. These are actually personalised, so I can't even show you guys. On the other side is his name with a paw print in grey. You know what, guys? Guess what his name is. You guys go down below in the comments. Obviously, if you're my friend or you know his name already, please don't comment. But if you don't know his name, go down below and guess what you think we've called him. It's not that common, actually. All his personalised stuff I will show you guys next week in his in the puppy vlog video. These were from eBay, £27 for two. They are quite big, um, but yeah, so two of those. And he does actually have Instagram. I'm so sad, I know. Go and follow him when you guys know his name. It's something the cockapoo. We got this board, well, I got this board for his Instagram because I am being an over-the-top dog mum. I don't even care. I've just taken his actual name off of it, but it says dog is eight weeks old today i did this and put it on and then realized that i want to do one when he comes home that just says so and so is home so i'm probably just gonna have to take all of this off but yeah i picked up this this was like 10 pounds from ebay so please guess below what you think his name is i can't wait for you guys just to like i can't wait to know what you guys think his name is you can tell i'm so so excited when you watch this video next week he'll probably be home which is crazy i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please go down below give the video a thumbs up also subscribe it means the world to me and i will see you guys next week for a new video bye guys